Hi, I, as you perhaps already know, you can't really uh, play a sample uh, in reverse or backward with a Gotham Elite Form 3, but there are some tricks. And the first one is using the start on the length parameter for making really small chop of audio uh, and scrub the sample backward. So uh, I've got a voice sample from uh, Chinese, I think, for illustrate that. So let's hear it. First. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to do is put the loop on and put the length at a very small number. Uh, I will put one because my sample is slightly long, so I want a very small chop of audio. Let's hear how it sound. So as you can see, we can now scrub to the sample with a very small part of audio, and we can do this backward by modulating the start parameter. So let's take LFO1, put it retrig on K1. So each time the sample uh, we trig here, it will trig the LFO. So reduce the time. All right, and now let's assign the start parameter to the LFO1. As you can see now, we're reading the sample backward with a very, very small chunk of audio. So this is one of the techniques. The other implique have a uh, prepared sample because it works well for glitchy songs like that um, with um, voice or things like that. But if you want to use it for drums, for para, for example, have a reversed uh, snare before a snare, it's not gonna work except you want some really really glitchy drums. So for that, I use another technique which involves having two times the sample one in the correct direction and the other one as you uh, as you can see here with an air with already in reverse and using the multiple sample playing of the Gotham Altita Form 3. So first let's hear this sample. Really sample snare drums. So here I have the snare, here I have the reverse set snare and now let's in selection we say we have two samples. So now we can use the chop, the chop parameter for playing the other sample, which is the snare in reverse. So for example, if I say that, and I want this um, uh, trig uh, in reverse, I'm going to use uh, controller tracks. So I'm going to put on the first step uh, at maximum values and now going to uh, the modulation and put the chops on the sequence one with maximum. So let's hear it sound. So this is uh, uh, the technique I use for many, many drums because I like to have some reverse uh, heat sometimes. And here it's very predictive, so at each time it hits the first step you have a, a reverse snare, but if you change the resolution or the last step of this sequence, it will shift with the trick sequence and you will end with other results. For example, if I put only 15 for last step, and I put some other trick, let's hear it sound now. And as you can hear, we now have some uh, of the snare in reverse. That's a technique I use many, many times for sequencing drums, for example, for pitch information, because you can do that too, and it can sound good for, let's example, 
select track two and do something like that. But reducing the last step to 14 and assign this now to the uh, sequence two to the pitch. And as you can hear now, we now have a much more complicated sequence. So uh, this is for now the two techniques I know for playing bot world samples on the Gotham Melody for level 3, but perhaps I will discover more. Bye bye.